I look like a socialist. Look, I'm the guy that ran against a socialist. Remember, I got in trouble during the whole campaign. Joe Biden has been unwilling to defend Bernie Sanders when questioned about Bernie and socialism. Now, this has angered Bernie supporters and those that are close to him. I'll get to a bit more of that after I show you a couple clips. But I'm also going to discuss why I'm not all that bothered by this and why it did bother me at first. I think it'll be obvious it, it would bother anybody uh, who was a Bernie supporter. But when I thought about it more, I kind of realized what the kind of politician Joe Biden is. So first, let me show you a couple examples here of how Joe Biden has been reacting when questioned about Bernie Sanders uh, and or socialism. If I could ask you, sir, I mean, even if you could address our camera directly, talk to the voters that are worried about socialism and you raising taxes. First of all, I guarantee, I promise, I've never broken my word, anyone making less than $400,000 will not see one single penny in their tax raised. Number two, I beat the socialists. That's how I got elected. That's how I got the nomination. Do I look like a socialist? Look at my career, my whole career. I am not a socialist. Number three, what we're going to do is make sure that we make people begin to pay their fair share. I'm not trying to punish anybody, but the idea that 19 corporations making billions of dollars pay zero in taxes, the idea you can be making a billion dollars or millions of dollars like Donald Trump did and acknowledge when he was trying to open up a casino in New Jersey, they had to show his tax returns. He paid zero taxes. And what did he say when he asked, well, how'd you feel about that? It just proves I'm smarter than everybody else. He knows these guys know how to game the system. The gaming is going to be over when I'm elected. Uh, Cuban American and Venezuelan voters here in South Florida are being targeted with messages by the Trump campaign claiming that a vote for Joe Biden is a vote for the radical left and socialism and even communism. What can you tell uh, people in my family, my friends, who are understandably concerned with that issue, that would make them feel comfortable voting for Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. And let me, just, look, let me just point out, we have about three or four minutes left. I look like a socialist. Look, I'm the guy that ran against a socialist. Remember, I got in trouble during the whole campaign, 20-some candidates. Joe Biden was too centrist, too moderate, too straightforward. That was Joe Biden. I have taken on the very people that, in fact, we're worried about. I've taken on the Castros of the world. I've taken on the Putins of the world. I've taken on all these dictators. I haven't cozied up to them. I'm the guy that's been straightforward with them. I'm the guy that's let them know it stops here. It stops with me. It stops with me as president. Okay. Uh, this is stupid. It's really stupid. In terms of a, a strategy, Apart from just being, say you don't like Bernie Sanders for whatever reason, check yourself, <laughs> but for whatever reason you don't like Bernie, you need to win the left. You need to win Bernie supporters. Almost half the party voted for Bernie Sanders. You have to appeal to those people. So when you react to a question about socialism or Bernie Sanders and you attack that very man, you attack his base, instead of correcting the misinformation, Discussing how universal health care is not a crazy idea. Most other countries have some form of universal health care. Canada has single payer health care. Like instead of, you know, diverting and, and answering the question in a way where it actually addresses what the issues are, what Bernie actually fought for. You're just coming off as somebody who is is going to alienate a lot of voters. Now, that said, I'm not all that bothered by this. Before I discuss why, let me first show you uh the reaction here from the Bernie camp, quote, it's foolish and arrogant, a former senior Sanders aide said in a text message to the Daily Beast late Monday night, and more importantly, absolutely unnecessary. It's not like the Republicans are going to stop calling Biden a socialist. The source close to Sanders continued. This is a talking point they plan to use no matter what Democrat won the primary. Furthermore, none of his other opponents in the primary are working as hard as, quote unquote, the socialist to get him elected. So this is exactly right, and I understand the outrage from the Bernie camp, especially because they're close to the man who was fighting to get Joe Biden elected. That said, I'll tell you why this doesn't bother me. Joe Biden is a people pleaser, meaning if you put him on the spot and accuse him of being something, he's going to assure you that he is not that thing that you don't want him to be. If instead the questions lobbied at Joe Biden were, why are you a heartless capitalist? 
Why don't you care about people? I guarantee you, he would bring up his good friend Bernie Sanders and how, oh, we work together on this platform. We're uh, fighting to expand health care. We're going to limit, uh, we're going to raise the corporate tax rate. We're going to raise taxes on the wealthy. We're going to do all these things for people. No, I'm not a heartless capitalist. I care about people. Now, of course, that is not the angle that cable news has when it comes to politics. We're talking about massive companies, massive corporations that run these news networks. So you're never going to hear any question about why are you a heartless capitalist. But you will hear again and again and again questions accusing him of being a socialist or be being friends with socialists or how the socialists are going to take over the party. You will hear that. So just understand the Biden is not an ideological person. He simply is a people pleaser. He has supported horrible things throughout the years, but unfortunately, the horrible things that he has supported had support in public polling. So when it came to the uh, the crime bill, for example, being tough on crime in the mid-90s was an incredibly popular position to have for a politician based on polling. Joe Biden is your typical politician in that sense. He just goes with the flow. Now, of course, the other issue is the donors and is the advisors in his ear. So even when right now public polling supports Medicare for all, he does not support that because of the money he's getting from corporations, from insurance companies, and the advisors in his ear pushing him to continue propping up a for-profit healthcare system. So there is that issue. But if you can build a big enough movement and somehow get these cable news stations to begin questioning uh again, assuming Biden becomes president, begin questioning his administration on why aren't you uh, expanding to Medicare for all? Why aren't you uh, raising taxes on the very wealthy? Why don't you have a wealth tax? Then he'll eventually be forced to react. That isn't, say, that isn't to say, you know, I don't expect Joe Biden to become a democratic socialist. But because he is a people pleaser kind of politician, pressure does have it, an effect. So... This is why I discussed, like, right now we're in the final weeks before the election. You're not going to see me do many attacks on Joe Biden. And I'm going to be open and honest with that because right now my focus is getting out Donald Trump. If you're watching my videos, I want you to understand that it is very important that Trump gets voted out of office. But if Biden wins and he's inaugurated, I cannot wait <laughs> to spend every waking moment going after this neoliberal administration. And I will push and push and push and inform people and try to get into, you know, the brains of the MSNBC, CNN audience, the, the boomers, try to get more people on board to realize that if you continue pushing down this neoliberal path, you're only going to get Donald Trump 2.0 in four years. That you have to actually offer people some real answers. But in the meantime, <laughs> the focus is Trump and getting out Trump. But we are going to build a, we are going to continue to build this massive movement. This, if you want to call it left wing movement, but I prefer calling it a, a workers or, or people movement. We're going to continue building this movement for a better future. And me as a Canadian, I understand the the role that America plays in pushing the rest of the world into a more humane direction. So I will continue pushing uh, for that better future, and. Just reminding people that for now, <laughs> Donald Trump is the focus.